and listening to me. My topic will be something different, what I learned from my journey, uh, from a, a kid who loves technology, who went through a passage of life. So my topic came from while working in agriculture sector. I worked with the people who are belong to agriculture, so they gave me this topic. One day we have a discussion of, on things, why young people are not solving real life problems. So this topic comes, society needs displaced people, not placed people. So I was first time displaced from my regular routine when I was in plus 10 plus 2. I was not selected in any engineering exam and it's shocking for me because I am the top three people in my class who every from last 15 years are coming at first, second or third. So that thing really shocked me because I was, I have no rank in the, that exam. I given five exam, I get nothing rank and it's really shocked me why this happened. At that time, my family reaction also changes towards me. They started giving me the amount of money they have spent on me. Every time the few people come in the family, they started, why you not selected, you done this, you done that. We have spent so much money. So the revolt comes in a big way that I left my home. To just to earn money, how important, how difficult it is to earn money. So I went there at 150 kilometer from my home. I started living in a Gurdwara. After three days, I get a job. The job is in a construction work. So I have to give him, the people are giving me 55 rupees per day. So I worked seven days there. I unloaded two trucks of bricks and, and dig three pillars for site for pillars. And uh, after seven days, they given me three sixty around three sixty rupees, and then they have some discipline. Do you have not done this and that? So they given me three sixty. I was very happy that I am able to get three sixty and I am able to earn money. So that day, I thought that money making a money is not so important. So I, I my passion for engineering comes again. So I called my family, the, uh, my relative, that I have done. I, I have earned money, so it's not a big deal. So the family dramas continue. Because I not talked seven days, there is no phone available. So they bought me back and I started preparing for my engineering. Next year I scored around 600 rank in my entrance test. I cleared all the three. And then they feel really shocked what happens last year. And then same way I joined an engineering college. And same problem comes there. So the teacher saying you have to follow this. If you are not coming, the guy, you will be investigated also, you will be suspended from exams also. So I started asking questions to the teacher. From the subject, they started talking. Now they're feeling scared. So every time, now last, my uh, engineering, I went in, again displaced. Displaced in a wrong way. Displaced in a wrong way, I have suspended six times in a college, two times investigated, 30 days I uh, lived in a jail, and then the eighth semester comes. Everybody is preparing for, they started preparing for the things, what I call training placement cell people started, the companies will come. Also, I had not prepared for that. I went for an interview, I selected, and there is a topper behind me, whose interview is behind, after me. The guy who, who taking an interview asked me that I selected a Navdeep. Are you also experiencing that when a topper of a college is not selected and the guy who is last from so many things, he selected, what is the reaction of a girl, especially a girl, not a boy? He came below and I still remember the words he quoted, how such people selecting, what type of people? And I was smiling, why, 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 why did this happen? So I, then I went to a car, uh, my uh, job, then I worked in a job in a big way. I, I get an access of in, uh, internet, 12 hours of working for a job. Then I slowly, slowly in a job, I again uh, getting a ladder. And then I again found that this is something missing. 
the people are not my type my type of people so they started pulling my legs i rose from engineer to specialist within a span of 3 and 1/2 years from my company and they started pulling a leg but in the meantime my dad love for data coming so i love making a reports analyzing of reports so so that time so from that reports i i started making lot of another reports so one day you know, my boss called me that you know the you are selected for africa and you have to serve a franco countries for there is a technical head i have no interview and when i got an offer letter then my reporting manager called me that you have to give a interview but that time my my senses are saying that i have to do something different so i have a more towards love for data how data is coming how making data is visible so i started my entrepreneurship journey so then i started when i started in 2000 entrepreneurship journey then this this line comes in my way i started as entrepreneur in big data and on cloud on and working on that part so when i was i goes to college any teacher said what is this word what where are the jobs nobody will do this after giving 77 lectures in different colleges now the people are talking about this thing so ma from that way i pull young people that they have to be work on something different so they started that time the startup world is coming in a big way everybody from last two year three years computer science and electronics graduates they are very much fancy with app economy and it's i call it a drug the the way the drug guy feel fantasy about the things same is our the computer science and electronics graduate of fantasy about it they are not working on the real challenges the last few speakers have pinpointed that issues so as a computer graduates or electronics graduates you have to work on real problems and what real problems we are facing these days healthcare agriculture and education why this are a real challenge because they are bringing lot of migration of people from rural to urban and urban getting more dense if we are able to provide all these three things in remote areas or we can ever serve the people in remote areas then we can provide better facilities to them all their nutrition and other issues will be resolved and the era which we are working is the era of software so without software you can't do anything if i need like uh, there is a favorite code by ibm that if tomorrow we need 1 lakh eggs we will order hands in the world that you give only 1 lakh eggs that thing has to be developed by the software so that all is about big data so my whole whole compass is big data big data is new soil so you have to dig the things in the life so that you work start working on real problems so every sensor will be enabled a device from where you get a data and you can do all the, all the things like everybody is talking we have 14 lakh children but that figure is not counted every data what we counting is based on some assumptions but when we embed the sensor in every everything we you are you are getting a real time data and where you are providing lags so that data science is a new electronics so you have to get data and make a knowledge from that data that is the more important thing we have to face now here the cash is that we we people are in india we have to think and solve indian problems in indian way a usa problem or a uk problem will not solve will not be solved the same way that we have in india here in 100 and 200 km we have 10 lakh people and their 10 lakh people 
their problem is different than other, another 100 kilometer people so for to serve 100 kilometer we have 10 to 15 lakh people we are so dense at some areas so our problem will have to be a, according to our defined regions so that we can able to solve them so my, my whole focus is on healthcare health cross is drawing into data every day we produced around 2.5 exabytes of data on facebook twitter youtube healthcare data is more than 10 times that we are producing and this data is not available on servers you see imagine we are this data is not available on servers maximum data is available on paper or some 2% uh, of the uh, hospitals or the world they are using records for them so if we have a data of a child born Two till 30 we can able to diagnose each and every problem and we can provide a medicine according to the problem that they are facing so th this is the most important thing so future of healthcare will be patient first we have to later things about how what the patient is grown up now the patient from Jammu he is uh, facing a problem X and same problem faced by Bangalore X, a same medicine will not solve that problem. So you need a personalized medicine and in the future we will be having accepting more robotic surgeons. We not believe in a doctor, we will be believing in a robotic surgeon. It's not a fiction that will take place 15 years or 20 years. In next ten, five to ten years, you people are heading towards these things. So then we have a genomics. The Google started their project, Google Genomics. They are reaching to the hospitals and they are collecting the DNA of every human being. And they are collecting a DNA of every human being, and one DNA contributes around 100 GB data. So they are enabling all the things on servers with the new technologies. So the young people who are working towards them I, I encourage them to work on core core projects and core subjects so that the technology is a around for, we have not having a uh, big jobs in coming 10 years we have less jobs in coming 10 years 40 percent of our job will be taken by AI and robots now outsourcing is not going to happen in China if you imagining all the manufacturing will be going to China or Indi India will be coming? No. Manufacturing is going back to their countries, USA. They will hire a robo, there will be no union, nothing will be there. They are working, their robo will be working 24 by 7 and they are developing a good product for them. And same way we, are, we people have to be enabling these things in, in India also. If we are not doing these things, and we are following old methods or old ways of doing things we will be lacked from the world and then we have you can see AI is coming uh, you have seen uh, Facebook last week they have released their bot for every page you can question on uh, like CNN page a bot will answer your queries and that bot you can generate in your college you have a Facebook page you can generate that bot in college that bot is answering same administrator works, you are asking your roll number comes or not, you have a bot to going to answer. For travel guide, you facing an any issue, there will be a bot who is answering. All your BPO industry will be run by bots. Artificial intelligence and machine learning. They don't, humans are not required there. In hospitals and, and everywhere, the, where uh, more manpower is required, so we, we are enabling with AI and bots. So these are things we are faced and the future of agriculture. I, last, I have seen the last presentation like now we are coming with food computer. So food computer is a project initiated by MIT. So what they are doing, they are providing a container where you can grow your vegetable what you like. You just have to purchase that container if you are growing vegetable, any vegetable. You have to purchase the same set of vegetables. And that container 
is in small size. You can carry everywhere. And it is controlled environment. Everything which is required to a vegetable to grow without land, you can grow that. And that project has to be initiated at different level in this. So we have we will having agriculture bots also, agriculture, agriculture rob, robotics also. So everywhere the people are coming in big way. And who are manufacturing them? Where are the people who are doing that? They are at Google. Apple, Apple is big in healthcare. They launch their healthcare kit. They are coming in big. Google, both both the CEO of Google left Google because they don't believe that Google is doing anything. So they goes to life sciences and other. They made up alphabet. So they have targeting the real problems now. So that that we people are facing. Same way, future of education will be not. You not have to wear degree. You not have to make any time. You are people are just working for a certificate. I am getting a participation certificate. Maximum people are working, but to, if I, I call your event also, maximum people are working for to get a certificate to show in your Zoom. That is not going to happen. You have to taught the uh, robotics and AI early of your age. You can, Few kids will be starting now developing up a good robot that attend uh, 50 years experience people not able to do that. So the focus will be on the of our education will be we have to assess mocks. We have to reach everywhere where you can get any education. So you not need to come into universities to get a particular set of education. You can have a art, AI a teacher assistant that that is answering your queries. You have questions, your teacher is not answering, but you have an AI teacher that's answering all your queries. Whenever you ask, 24 by 7. So our lab should be 24 by 7 available. You are assessing from cloud, and you are doing anything from your remote area. You just have an internet accessibility. So that's my last point. Develop exponential thinking rather than linear thinking to enable the world with better human race. Thanks for looking.